السلام عليكم شرع غلس نن دا اختر اخير شپا دا مرزده دیگه پا افغان دا افغان مرکت و مخته چه دا اختر گروسری و کو های ویلکم تو افغان کوکس تده ایز دا لاست دی او رمضان and we are here at the Afghan market in Alexandria, Virginia to do our Eid shopping. So let's go inside. It's really packed here today. Everyone is so excited for tomorrow. Yay! So you can see there are lots of different kinds of sweets. It is traditional on Eid to have a lot of sweet things especially things in the delicious sticky syrup here and if you follow me over this way i'm going to show you afghan cookies um, you can see that they're they're cleaned out right here already and people have been buying this stuff up for probably since this morning we're kind of late these are kulche and they make special eat cookies as well and you can see all the thermoses I don't know if you guys ever saw the video or the pictures of our Eid picnics where we have all everyone brings a thermos of tea you can see if you're in the market for a thermos come to Afghan market every Afghan store will have a selection of thermoses for you so here we have the mortadella I used this in the breakfast sandwich episode when I did the Sohor episode you can see these are all meats that are halal, a lot of them are smoked, sausages, it's very tasty, the Turks do a great job. You can see all the different kinds of candies, it's very popular to get these for weddings as well. And behind us, there are sugar coated almonds. In Afghan culture, we put out wachamewa, which is dried fruit and nuts. And we usually have an assortment in our kitchen cabinets, just in case a guest drops by. So we have raisins and uh, we grow grapes in Afghanistan and they make raisins. And you can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six kinds of raisins just on this side right here. They're all different colors, different sweetnesses, different places. We have um, uh, dried dates here, dried apricots here and there. They're different kinds. We have uh, sugar-coated chickpeas here. Oh, these sesame candies. Everyone must love these. I think everyone's grandmother had these at some point. These are my absolute favorite. We're going to make our way down so you can just see how many different kinds there are in this one little shop. Okay, and now we have all kinds of different sweets that are also sugar fruits. Different kinds of striped chickpeas. <laughs> More raisins. In case you didn't think that there was enough raisins. Mixed nuts here, which is super handy. What's this? Figs. Striped figs. How great is that? We would have these a lot. Afghani almonds. This was huge when I was a kid. Um, these are also Afghani figs. Oh, this is kach. Krut. This is how it comes. It comes dried. You know how I make the Afghan yogurt sauce? And we use it for everything. This is what we use. This is the dehydrated version of it. This, my friends, is an Afghan spice oil. The whole thing, all of it. We have a lot of spice mixes, so you don't have to make your own. If you come with me, Sean, big name in spice mixes. So they have everything you want Chinese and Manchurian. You want some fruit shot? You don't have to think about how to put that together. It's right here. You want some Yemeni spice? Yemeni food is delicious. We should actually go in to the, we should take them, the viewers, to the Yemeni restaurant in Alexandria. Yes. Yemeni spice mix. Let's see what else we want. If you want something that's a little more, we have shawarma mix 
here if you want that. Medium sized small jar of coriander seeds. We go through this really quickly. You know what is the trinity of Afghan food, right? Coriander, cumin, and turmeric. I know you know this. That's it. That's it. That's it. And now I'm going to show you the legume aisle, aka the bean aisle. Here you can see it's an entire aisle of lentils, chickpeas, black eyed peas. That's a key. Gotta have some of this. Also, other random things. The cake mix? I have no idea what that is. I don't know what that pudding. is either. Pudding. Oh, it's pudding. Okay. This is like a soup mix. Oh, that's kind of neat. So, Doc has got it, man. They're all about it. But it's a little overwhelming because it's a lot of the same but different brands. Um, kind of like how we do with, like, I don't know, cereal. <laughs> you know? We do with dried beans. It's the same. Babas. This is not something you can get in an American or Western supermarket. You can't get a giant thing of dried babas. Sometimes you can get them in a can. And usually you can get chickpeas and some lentils, but you're not going to get like the various kinds of lentils like you can get here. Um, so this is the rice section. You can see there's like giant bags over here and some smaller bags for smaller families over that way. And after the biscuits, of course, you have tea. From here to almost the end of the aisle. Because we like all sugar, but not in our teeth. All three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And partially on the fifth is tea. Mm. This is my dad's name. It means generous. And that's also a name for God. Allah has 99 names and that's one of them. These are apricot rolls. I've never had them, but we're going to grab some. We're going to get some Afghan milk fudge. We're going to make this on Afghan cups. Maybe we'll do that next week. Um, we're going to do a lot of ice creams coming up soon, too. A lot of desserts. Hello, meat. So, I hope you enjoyed our shopping expedition. I did want to point out that we are so lucky in this area. If you look right across the street, there's a store called Fair Price International Supermarket. And that is also owned by Afghans. That's more of like a general grocery store. It's a little bit bigger. It also has a lot of what we have here, but this is more very, very, very much for Afghans. It's a very... I don't know. It's like it's like being at home. Uh, not that I would know because I left there when I was 18 months old. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was so special to me to be able to bring you to one of these places and share with you a bit of my motherland in this way. Um, and the owner was really excited to have us there. Uh, his sister has a YouTube channel as well. We'll link to that below too. And her Instagram is beautiful. So if you're in this area, please come to the Afghan market, go to Fair Price, and buy a lot of cookies. Until next time, bye.